Hello Virgo, so thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm going to be doing a reading for you today. We are going to be doing a general reading. We have the three um, topics I'm going to do is a general general energy, um, love, and career and finance, money, that sort of thing. I've never done one of these readings before for specific signs, so if this resonates with you, please comment down below and let me know as this is my first time doing it. And I'm not too sure how it's gonna turn out. So let's see what you guys got for your general energy so what's going on for my virgos what's going on for my virgos right now so we have visualization positive expectation and rise above problems I literally thought that I need two cars and both of these came out at the same time. So you've got the elephant spirit, learn from the past and freedom is yours. So the overall energy I feel like for you guys in the next couple of weeks is you are learning from your past very, very deeply. And this is going to turn into some really positive things because you're working on your past and this is some deep stuff. I'm feeling very, very deep, very, very emotional. You could all be also be connected with a water sign because I feel like there's some deep, 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 Doop energy coming through and we also have the ace of cups which is so funny there's such an intense water sign going on around here so i feel like you could oh my god and we have the knight of cups and uh, so i feel like you could be embodying a water sign as well this kind of like this mushy kind of like happy energy to do with the emotions we also have the star card you can't see that let's put that there um, so there's definitely a, a water sign around you at the moment who you are connecting with. I feel like you guys are deciding whether you want to be with this person or not as well. And freedom is yours in a sense that you've got so many like attributes to your personality that are really coming into play right now. It's like, how do I say this? So you've got the world at your feet. You've got a lot going on for you. And there's so many options that you could take and it's like you're choosing the right one but you know which one is right for you because it's what feels right in your heart. And as I say, you're visualising and you're rising above problems so there's a lot of emotional things that you are rising above now and I feel like by the end of May you could have really sorted this stuff out. As I say, there's a lot of emotions going on. Positive expectations and learn from the past. As I say, you could be learning from the past and this is going to bring you into... <clears throat> excuse me. A very positive situation and I feel like I'm actually done with this section but as I say yeah, you are visualizing what's going on for you and it's all coming in and the fact that you've got like the ace of cups knight of cups and the star is absolutely beautiful you guys are going to be cultivating a new relationship very very soon as well and there's someone who if you don't know this person they're also someone who new is going to be offering you a cup which is absolutely amazing and I'm seeing like the emotions are really pouring out so once you've decided on how you feel about this situation it's all going to pour out it's going to be absolutely gorgeous so you guys are so amazing and you guys are letting your emotions flow which is really really nice and also next door I've got a strimmer instead of a lawnmower now so <laughs> sorry about that noise so let's see what you guys have in your love life I know that's kind of a love life anyway but we're just going to see what you guys have going on in your love life love life Love, love. Don't know why I'm singing. Don't know why I'm singing, but I'm singing. <laughs> what song is this? Is I feel like, is there a song that needs to come through? Say so they're saying no. You're you're singing. So this is happy, joyful energy. So to do with your love life, it's it's wow. It's like really joyful, really amazing. Inner power. This is a this is a card that I always love to see. This is a card that just makes me feel really really happy. And it just makes me feel like, damn, yeah, I'm really working on myself. And it's working. So we got to stand your ground. Gorgeous. As I said, these cards are blue as well. So there's a lot of emotional energy going around. And we also have problem resolved. Gorgeous. So this is going really, really smoothly. You've got inner power raising your standards and problem resolved. So there's something that, as I say, to do with your love life is um, being resolved now. And you're using your inner power to kind of control the situation in a good way. It's like, as I say, when I said earlier about your attributes, there's these attributes that you're using right now to kind of cultivate this experience and to move through the, whoa, 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 move through the experience. So we've got 
love yourself first, release your ex and past life relationship. So there could be somebody who you're actually dealing with right now who is actually a past life relationship. Wow. So this could be a twin flame, this could also be a soulmate, but you've known this person before and I definitely feel like you can feel this. This energy is so nice. I'm feeling like a lot of flow, a lot of kind of like new like do 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 and in the do 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 energy it's like um really happy, like time is stepping on your tiptoes, like, oh, this is really fun, this is really nice. Very light fairy energy. And this definitely um, goes in with the inner power because this fairy, I feel like, is very light, very beautiful, very um, new and kind of um, very light. Yeah, someone who's very, very light, feels very light. You also have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So I definitely feel like this is to do with raising your standards and release your ex. So it's you still need to focus on your inner power and your emotional confidence. There's something here that's kind of like keep me off balance. So there's something that needs to be balanced out, but you're working for it and you're releasing your ex as well. I feel like if you don't, if you, you're, I don't know, wow, okay. Too many messages coming through. Some of you are releasing an ex. Some of you are dealing with an ex. Some of you want to be with an ex, but they're telling me to release your ex. So I'm not judging you. If you want to be with an ex, that is totally fine. But there's this new past life relationship that's coming in really, really nicely. And it just feels so, so amazing. Well, this popped up so, so clearly. So we've got the Hierophant standing in your ground, raising your standards for sure. You're really standing in that earth energy. And we have the Emperor. So these two, I feel like, are you and also could be another person. You two are very strong, very confident. You could be, as I say, dealing... I think you definitely could be dealing with a water sign here and also could be a fire sign. And you also have three of cups. So this could be to do with your ex. This could be to do with somebody that you need to let go because there's these two really strong characters here. But then there's also that is community going on. So this could be like a love triangle. It's like you need to let go of these people. This could also be coming together as well. You're coming into community. You're coming into having a chat with each other. You're all going to be talking. As in like you and this partner are going to be talking and conversing your emotions and kind of discussing where do we go from here sort of thing. So that is to do with love, and then let's see what you guys have in your financial aspect, aspect, aspect. Wow, really can't speak today. <laughs> oh God, this energy is so scattered today. So, I'm not talking about you Virgo, I'm just talking in general, <laughs> just today. Um, so let's see what you guys have in your career financial sector. So the first thing we've got is kindness. I'm definitely feeling like you guys need to be kind to yourself um, in this in this transition because it's all going to turn out really, really nicely. I think you guys are um, looking into a new job and um, this is going to be really good for you. If you guys are stuck at the moment, just, as I say, be kind to yourself. Move through these emotions. Don't get stuck because Virgos do seem to get stuck on things. And we have the tower. So we've got something coming in really, really strongly. And we also have the Queen of Cups. So there's somebody who's going to offer you an option, um, offer you some kind of emotional stability within your financial um, relationships. And we also have the Three of Cups, so celebration. So this is all really, really nice. Uh, as I say, be kind to yourself within this transition because you guys are going through an intense transition at the moment. And But the emotions are flowing really nicely. And there's this mothering energy and it's to do with this kindness. So... As I say, be a mother to yourself, um, be kind to yourself, move through this really nicely and the financial is the financial aspect is all going to flow. All the money is going to flow really, really nicely and the happily ever after card, I, I love it because it's like such a completion. It's like, hell yeah, we did this. Um, and it's also, I feel like everything is going to come through really nicely for you. Like the emotions are flowing really nicely and you are the first group that I've done who the emotions are actually flowing really well. So you guys are like, are on it. You guys are so on it with your emotions. And I feel like a lot of you, when I say on it, <laughs> you guys are doing really, really well, but also you're having this towel moment. So it's very intense and it's very like, oh my God, so many emotions, it feels so heavy. But it's really, really good. So I send you lots of love and I really hope this resonated with you. If it did, please comment down below. Let me know. As I say, I've never done one of these individual sign readings before. So let me know. If you'd like to, please comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video. And I will see you all very soon. Also, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, I am doing a Easter sale at the moment that is going to end on the 22nd of April. So if you guys want to get in there and get yourself a private reading, my 25 minute readings are half price at £16. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you all very, very, very soon. Bye.